One of the ways that people like to classify their KPIs and performance measures is by whether they're quantitative or qualitative. Should we do it? And if we do, are we doing it right? The distinction between quantitative and qualitative measures is, is often misunderstood. Really, if we're measuring anything, we're gauging the amount to which it's happening. And numbers are the essential building blocks of amounts. Even when we use rating scales to turn attitudes into numbers, we're doing it to gauge an amount. So technically, every measure or KPI is quantitative or numeric. Even when we're measuring a qualitative result, we still use numbers to quantify it. So let's explore this a little bit more. Qualitative measures aren't actually measures. In the field of statistics or data analytics, we distinguish variables as qualitative or attribute when those variables are not gauging an amount, but rather simply putting things into buckets. The buckets are classifications like gender or market segment or geographical region or product group. Qualitative variables can't really be performance measures. Rather, they're used to help us analyze our performance measures. So take, for example, customer satisfaction rating. We can slice it into product groups to explore which products have the lowest satisfaction and should be maybe priorities for improvement. Qualitative data can also be richer than just attribute or classifications. Stories, explanations, that's qualitative data. And that kind of data can be analyzed to find themes, to find causes, or some further contextual information to help us decide what kind of actions to take when our quantitative measures tell us that performance isn't good enough. Quantitative measures can take two forms. In the field of statistics or data analytics, we distinguish two types of quantitative variables, continuous and discrete. Continuous variables can take any value, including decimals, over a range, and they're measured in units like kilograms or hours and minutes and seconds or dollars and cents or meters. I'm sure you can think of other types of continuous data used for KPIs in your organization. Discrete variables are generally counts of things uh, like complaints, accidents, new customers, anything that takes an integer or whole number value. And that includes rating scales for measuring attitudes such as satisfaction on a 10-point scale. Again, you might be able to think of some KPIs based on discrete data in your organization. Now, performance measures can be based on either continuous or discrete variables. Measures such as average delivery cycle time or net profit, uh, non-recyclable mass sent to landfill, uh, average kilometers traveled, these are all based on continuous variables. Measures such as average customer satisfaction rating, number of lost time injuries, percentage of projects completed on time, those are based on discrete variables. Now, both types of performance measures, continuous and discrete, are equally useful. Next time, when the discussion comes up about quantitative versus qualitative KPIs, make sure to check what your colleagues mean by qualitative and whether what they really mean is discrete. And this might help everyone get past that perceived barrier that qualitative concepts can't be quantified, because they can. Now, if you have any examples or stories to share or you want to ask a question, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below.